All right, so we're going to begin by talking about basic motion behaviors. Now, I covered this in some degree in the introduction video. So at first, this might be a little bit of a review, but I promise we're going to get very deep very quickly. So we're going to start off with the basics just so you're completely clear on how they work, and then we're all on the same page. Now, I, I guess I should start by just talking about what is a behavior. And, uh, you know, behavior is a way to animate an object, any, you know, all different types of parameters of an object, but to animate it without having to resort to keyframes. Traditionally, the only way to do animation was to use keyframes, to assign a very specific value to a very specific frame for a given parameter. And that has its purpose. And as you'll see, we'll talk about how to use keyframing and make the best of it. But keyframing can be tedious. It can be, especially when you want to do complex things, it can be really, uh, you know, it can require a lot of precision and a lot of very, very fine tuning. And then if you want to change your mind, it becomes very, very difficult. You wind up having to rebuild a whole keyframe structure. And this is really a burden. And so when motion was invented, one of the radical and cool things that it created was this idea of behaviors. Behaviors are a way to give the give instructions give generalized instructions to the program to say you know generally do that i want you to kind of move this object over there treat another object as an obstacle so that my object can't touch that ob that object if it gets close to it or you know take this particular parameter and just sort of oscillate the value so you know i want this the 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 shading of this blue to move between blue and red and go back and forth between blue and red dynamically and that you know you can use a behavior to tell it to do that so these behaviors are a way of giving general instructions. And the simplest and most obvious of those is the basic motion behaviors. So let's go ahead and do that. To apply a behavior, select an object, go into the toolbar, to the pop-up menu, the behaviors pop-up menu. And here's the behaviors pop-up menu. We're going to start off with this basic category called basic motion. And you'll see in here we have about seven or eight different types of behaviors. Fade in, fade out, grow, shrink. I'm going to go to the bottom for starters and talk about throw because I think it's one of the easiest to understand. So I take the throw behavior and I apply it. Now this is another aspect to working with behaviors. A lot of them have these custom HUDs like this one, that it's a unique control that's only used for this behavior. And when you learn how to use it, it's a very intuitive way of creating this effect. So what a throw is, we want to literally throw our object. We want to move it in a certain direction. And to do that, we just simply grab and drag in our graph over here. And if I play my project, you'll see that immediately it starts moving. That red line indicates the motion path that it's going to be creating. And if I move it over here, it starts moving in that direction. If it's just a little tiny arrow, it moves very slowly. Right. If it's a really big arrow, it moves very fast. So you see when it comes around, now it's moving very fast. And see the zoom slider, we can even amplify that further. If you zoom all the way out, I can make that even faster. So now, just start over at the beginning here. Now it's moving even, you know, twice as fast. Or if I want to make more precise adjustments, I can zoom way in and lower that rate that you know the arrow there so i can make very very smooth slow adjustments to create a nice subtle movement like that and you notice that red line is showing us where the object is going to begin and end during the course of the duration so this the faster it goes you can see the more ground it's going to cover and so that's the basic idea. It's very simple and very straightforward but to think about the complexity of that if i had wanted to change the speed of this you know, and we wanted to then, you know, we'd make, have to make a lot of specific keyframes, and then we wanted to change the direction. We'd have to rebuild all those keyframes and change it. Also, at any point, I can just grab my object and move it. And the general tendency, you know, the, the behavior is still applied. So I'm saying put this over here, and it's still going to follow that same basic behavior of following that particular path. Or put it over here, change the angle there, you know, we can adjust it dynamically. So behaviors are applied on top of the basic parameters you've got assigned to a particular object. And they generally create this tendency of movement or you know, tendency of a parameter change, depending on what it is you're doing.